Hey friends, very good morning. Welcome to another interesting video of FX Yogi. In today's video, let's learn how to calculate currency correlations with Excel. As you have read, correlations will shift and change over time. So keeping on top of current coefficient strengths and direction becomes even more important. Lucky for you, currency correlations can be calculated in the comfort of your own home, just you and your most favorite spreadsheet application. For our explanation, we are using Microsoft Excel, but any software that utilizes a correlation formula will work. Step 1. We are assuming that you won't be magically creating the daily price data out of thin air, but rather will be getting it somewhere online. One source is from the Federal Reserve. Step 2. Open Excel. Step 3. Copy and paste your data into an empty spreadsheet or open the exported data file from Step 1. Get the last 6 months. Step 4. Now arrange your data to look like the following or something similar. Colors and fonts are up to you. Have fun with this. Yellow might not be the best option though. Step 5. It's time to decide on a time frame. Do you want last week's currency correlation, last month, last year? The amount of price data you have will dictate this but you can always get more data for this example we are using the last month step 6 in the first empty cell below your first comparison pair i am correlating euro usd to the other pairs so i am starting with euro usd and usd jpy type equals c o r r EL open bracket step 7 next select the range of cells for euro USD's price range followed by a comma you will be surrounding this range with a box after the comma select USD JPY's price data range just like you did for euro USD step 9 Click the enter key on your keyboard to calculate the correlation coefficient for Euro USD and USD JPY. Step 10. Repeat steps 5 to 9 for the other pairs and for other time frames. When you are done, you can take your new data and create a cool looking table just like this. Man, that's pro status. The one week, one month, 3 month, 6 month and 1 year trailing periods provide the most complete view of the correlations between currency pairs. But it is up to you to decide which or how many time periods you want to wish to analyze. While it might be overkill to update your numbers every single day unless you are a currency correlation addict, updating them at least every other week should be enough. If you find yourself Manually updating your currency correlation tables every hour on Excel, you might need to get out more and pick up a hobby. That's all for today. Let's catch up in the next video with more interesting content. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.